20 most dangerous dogs in the world. As wolves, dogs still carry a genetic legacy that can make some of them more dangerous than others under certain circumstances. Being animals, dogs have the potential to be unpredictable and exhibit aggressive behavior when stressed. One of the topics that is most frequently examined in the scientific literature on dogs is aggression. It mostly depends on their ancestry, genetics, and the purposes for which some breeds were originally bred. This occurs with other dogs that are the most dangerous because of what people have done to them over time. Fortunately, almost all dogs can be socialized and trained to become less aggressive and less dangerous to people, with a few notable exceptions. The ultimate responsibility for adhering to what the dog actually needs to thrive and how much time and effort is spent training some of these most dangerous dogs rests with the handler. The 20 deadliest dogs known to be aggressive. 1. American Pit Bull Terrier The American Pit Bull Terrier is one of the most dangerous breeds of dog. According to statistics on dog bites, the American Pit Bull Terrier, a close relative of the American Staffordshire, is second only to the Rottweiler in terms of being one of the world's most dangerous dogs. This breed has a very long history of use in dogfighting. It's understandable why this breed is still regarded as one of the most aggressive and dangerous, and why so many people still have a fear of pit bulls. They are strong and muscular, with a powerful jaw bite power that can crack bones. There used to be a misconception that American pit bulls served as nanny dogs who watched over children while their owners were away. Since then, it has been refuted. Even though American pit bull terriers make wonderful family pets and are excellent with children when raised and trained properly, not many people today adopt them. Pit bulls are among the most dangerous breeds, but not all of the myths surrounding them are accurate. Did you know that? In most situations, American pit bulls are less likely to bite than Labradors. They are more patient than they are dangerous. Although having one of these dogs requires a skilled handler and professional trainer. 2. Dogo Argentino The Argentinian Mastiff is another name for the Dogo Argentino. In comparison to pit bulls, these dogs appear to have a worse reputation for being aggressive or dangerous. It's not a popular breed, and you don't hear much about it either. These dogs are large, white, and hardly have any markings on their bodies. Any marking will be viewed as a flaw in the dog. The Dogo Argentino breed is frequently regarded as one of the best hunting dogs for particular types of hunts because it was developed for big game hunting and serving as a devoted guard dog. Despite being regarded as a dangerous breed, Dogo Argentinos get along well with kids if they are socialized with them from a young age. Some experts assert that the majority of the aggressive traits have been bred out. Even though this is the case, a few of the other breeds on this list, including the Dogo Argentino, are still prohibited in Australia, the UK, Singapore, and Ukraine. In the UK, it is against the law to own a dog of this breed or a pit bull unless the authorities have been informed. The Akita breed is not a dog for a first-time owner because it is independent and strong. This breed of dog has a dominant personality, so they might dominate a person who has never owned a dog before. The Akita is reserved around outsiders and doesn't care much for people who aren't part of their family. Akita dogs have a tendency to become aggressive and possessive if improperly trained. Because of these factors, as this story explains, they have in the past bit people. Akita is one of the most dangerous dogs, which is surprising given the statistics that speak for themselves. When your dog interacts with unfamiliar animals, especially smaller dog breeds, exercise caution. If you want two Akitas, it is best to have a male and a female because they are not very tolerant of other dogs of the same sex. This breed has a soft spot for kids, especially if they lived with kids when they were younger. When it comes to their dog food, Akitas are another situation where caution should be exercised. When disturbed while eating, they will react aggressively, so this resource guarding behavior problem needs to be dealt with while the dog is still a puppy. When properly trained, Akitas make excellent pets, but you shouldn't leave them alone with other small animals. One of the most dangerous dogs is the Perro de Presa Canario. For Perro de Presa Canario, 
The Mastiff dog breed known as the Perro de Presa Canario, which originated in the Canary Islands, was developed as a guard dog. They are strong, big dogs that adore the water. The Perro de Presa Canario is intelligent, composed, and self-assured. They do, however, frequently appear on any list of the most dangerous dogs for a number of reasons. Anyone looking to adopt this breed of dog should do a lot of research first. This breed is not for inexperienced owners. They require early socialization and training because they are very wary of strangers. However, despite early socialization and training, these aggressive dogs continue to be on guard, which could cause problems. The Perro de Presa Canario needs a job to do because it is highly energetic, possessive of its prey, and fiercely territorial. This breed may become destructive if given insufficient exercise and stimulation. 5. Goldong One of the rarest dog breeds comes from Pakistan and is called the Goldong. In the West, we rarely see Goldong dogs. This lovely dog has a tendency to be wary and extremely suspicious of strangers, which could lead to aggressive and dangerous behavior. They typically have a grumpy disposition and are not suitable as family pets. When considering adopting one of these dogs, a knowledgeable owner is unquestionably required. They are not suitable for living in apartments or houses with small yards because they have been known to turn on their owners in the past. It's best to thoroughly research this breed before adopting one because of their size and strength as well as the fact that they are one of the most dangerous dog breeds, provided you can find them. These dogs do well living and working on farms. 6. Doberman Pinscher It makes sense that so many movies feature this breed of dog when scenes involving scrapyards are present because the Doberman Pinscher breed was primarily bred to be intimidating. They are one of the most aggressive breeds of dog, but only because they have a reputation for defending their owners. This does not imply that they are aggressive, but it does suggest that the best person to train this breed is a qualified dog trainer. A Doberman Pinscher will typically respond to anything that appears to be a threat to its handler with ferocious tenacity. Aggression is always their main priority. This breed is frequently employed as a watchdog or as a self-defense dog. Along with pit bulls and rottweilers, they also rank fairly highly in the statistics of dog bites. 7. Rottweiler Speaking of rottweilers, this large, alert, passive dog has long been regarded as one of the most aggressive and dangerous breeds. Because of the news that surrounds them, it is one of those breeds that many people fear, and statistics have partially supported this. However, Rottweilers, or Rotties, can make wonderful pets and excellent guard dogs if properly raised and trained from a young age. As puppies, they must be socialized. When it comes to their home and family is in danger, or what they may perceive as danger, the Rottweiler is generally a very relaxed dog. This dog breed is not one that people often play with due to its enormous stature and strength. One of the most dangerous dog breeds is the German Shepherd. 8. German Shepherd Even though they have a well-deserved reputation for being among the world's most dangerous dogs, German Shepherds are unquestionably among the most popular dog breeds, right up there with Huskies. This working breed has earned its reputation as the best breed of police dog, but when it is not given a purpose for all that energy, it can become aggressive and dangerous. Even if it's a long run or height, they were always bred to be active. The German Shepherd, or GSD, requires constant exercise and cannot be left alone at home all day. If you don't, your house might be in ruins when you get home and your bored dog will probably knock you over. The German Shepherd requires extensive understanding and respect during training and is not recommended for any first-time dog owners. GSDs are unfailingly loyal and will defend their family and home from harm. 9. Chow Chow because they have been known to turn on their own handlers out of boredom, the Chow Chow is considered one of the world's most dangerous dog breeds. Even though they are frequently regarded as very lazy dog breeds, they still need to exercise to burn off their energy. When given no outlet, Chow Chows become very irritable and dislike all strangers. This breed requires a strong-willed owner who won't let the dog walk all over them. The Chow Chow must be properly trained and socialized from an early age, 
just like the majority of the dangerous dogs on this list, to prevent aggression issues. 10. Tosa Inu The Tosa Inu is a rare breed that originated in Japan and is primarily found in the West. They are prohibited in some nations, including Dublin and Hong Kong, because they were bred primarily as fighting dogs. One of the most dangerous dogs you can adopt is the Tosa Inu, also known as the Tosa, which is still used in dogfighting in many parts of the world. This dog breed is notorious for biting its owners, and the fact that they have powerful jaws doesn't help. The Tosa Inu is not a family pet and is not a good choice for families with young children, as you have probably already guessed. To breed out all the bad trains that contributed to the current breed, it will take many years. 11. Cane Corso Cane Corsos were originally bred as hunting companions for ardent hunters. Due to their strength, they were excellent at catching mountain lions and wild boars. Due to their high prey drive, this breed is one of the most dangerous dogs and will do best with someone who is very knowledgeable about the breed and knows how to train and care for them. They're also becoming more well-liked as reliable police dogs today. Due to their rambunctious and unruly nature, the Cane Corso is not a good dog to own when you have children in the family. They've never been known to get along well with children, and they require socialization and training from the time they are puppies. 12. Wolf Dog, Wolf Dog Hybrid Any dog with the name Wolf will undoubtedly raise questions and presumptions about that breed. There are several dog breeds that resemble wolves, but one in particular is known as the wolf dog. Because of its high prey drive, it requires daily exercise to prevent boredom, extreme aggression, and attacks on other animals. Due to its size, this breed can easily topple small adults and children when agitated. Due to their breeding history, this breed is among the most dangerous and is most definitely not a dog for a first-time owner. The wolf dog hybrid will thrive in the care of a person who is sensitive to their needs. Any owner of these potentially dangerous dogs should be a strong-willed individual who does not give in to the dog's whims. Before venturing out and adopting one, be sure to do your research as there is still a lot of wildness in this breed. 13. Rhodesian Ridgeback The African Lion Hound is another name for the Rhodesian Ridgeback. These dogs lived up to their name. The purpose for which they were originally bred was to hunt lions and protect farms, livestock, and other livestock from predators. Nowadays, Rhodesian Ridgebacks are much more suited to families and are found in many homes. Due to their aggressiveness and intense prey drive, they are still regarded as one of the most dangerous dogs. The Rhodesian Ridgeback is a big dog that was especially bred for strength and speed. They are very wary of strangers and will do anything to defend their families. 14. Borbol Another uncommon dog breed, Borbols, are large and ferocious. Sometimes, their heads are twice as big as ours. In fact, this breed of dog was developed to deter lions and hyenas from stealing their owner's flocks of sheep and cattle, which should give you an idea of their ferocity and strength. The Borbol is typically a very passive dog, but after becoming accustomed to living with their family, they become wary of strangers entering their property. Due to its size and somewhat peculiar temperament, this dog also requires a strong handler. Unless they were raised alongside other animals and children when they were puppies, it is best to keep them away from both. 15. Czechoslovakian Vlkak Another wolf dog hybrid is the Czechoslovak Vlkak breed. It is specifically a cross between the German Shepherd and the Carpathian Wolf, and it strongly resembles the wolf portion of its ancestry. A brave dog with a high prey drive, the Czechoslovak Vlkak. They are intelligent, inquisitive animals that can run for a very long time without getting tired. Although they should be watched when the dog interacts with children when it comes to children, they are incredibly devoted to their families. They are one of the most dangerous dog breeds because they can be wary and aloof around strangers. This breed is independent and dominant, so a novice owner should avoid it. Long periods of isolation are not allowed because they will howl for their family. This might cause issues with the neighbors. This breed needs a lot of stimulation and exercise, just like every other dog, perhaps even more so, 
Otherwise, you will have a major issue on your hands. 16. Alaskan Malamute The Alaskan Malamute, a close relative of Huskies, is one of the most dangerous dog breeds currently in existence in addition to being a stunning dog breed. This big dog with a big personality is a slow learner. They have a high prey drive and are resourceful and intelligent, so they should be careful around smaller animals. Most people find the Alaskan Malamute to be an unreliable watchdog and extremely challenging to train. An Alaskan Malamute needs to be socialized and trained from a young age because of how aggressive this breed can be. Avoid getting this dog as an adult unless you are absolutely certain you know what you're doing. 17. Boxer The Boxer is not generally regarded as one of the most dangerous dogs. It's only very slightly true, though. Boxers are typically a playful, energetic breed with a strong bite and jaw. Because of their natural tendency to assume a guardian-like role when it comes to their family, they may be suspicious of strangers. The Boxer is a popular choice for family pets and is fantastic with kids. Unexpectedly for a breed that ranks among the most dangerous, they are actually only dangerous to animals and people outside of their own family because they are so fiercely devoted to them. They usually need consistent training starting at a young age because they are headstrong. The Boxer needs a lot of stimulation and exercise because they are a working breed. The most effective training method for Boxers is positive reinforcement. This breed can be reserved around larger dogs of the same sex, but they adore spending time with smaller dogs. 18. Siberian Husky the Husky is one of the earliest breeds of dog known to man and is strikingly similar to the wolf. Some people might be surprised to learn that these dogs are also regarded as one of the most dangerous dog breeds given that they were bred to pull sleds, perform other tasks, and increase in popularity. As a result, they are very energetic and require a proprietor who will harness that energy. Early dog training techniques and puppy socialization are essential because Siberian Huskies have a tendency to be wild and somewhat timid. It's crucial to socialize your Husky puppy with various environments, people, and animals, especially small breeds or cats. Huskies' high prey drive makes it unwise to generally leave them alone with small animals. Because they can be timid, this dog might become defensive and bite in strange places or in response to sudden movements. 19. Staffordshire Bull Terrier The Staffordshire Bull Terrier, also known as the Staffy or the British cousin of our American mentioned above, has a reputation that doesn't seem to fit the bill. All this dog needs to stay out of trouble is a lot of stimulation, training, and early socialization. He is fearless, loyal, energetic, and strong-willed. It's still one of the breeds to be wary of, though. This dog's dislike of other dogs, despite the fact that they get along well with children, is the only thing that makes it one of the most dangerous breeds. In either case, you can start addressing this from the time your dog is a puppy, and with the right training techniques, you can quickly find a solution. 20. St. Bernard The St. Bernard is last on the list, but anyone who has seen Beethoven movies will undoubtedly find it surprising. Unfortunately, these large dogs are difficult to train due to their passive temperaments, which has led to their inclusion on lists of the most dangerous dogs in the world, although nowhere near the top. Shy St. Bernards who are frightened by situations can have dangerous outbursts and behave aggressively toward everyone nearby. What really hits another mark is their size and strength. They are difficult to train and frequently exhibit a headstrong attitude when instructed. Because of their dominant personalities, males seem to have a bigger problem with this. When adopting a dog of this breed, socialization and training are essential, but when provided with the proper resources, they make wonderful companions.